Is there something that you're going through? You're like, I can't even imagine how God could use this. Why is this happening to me? How? Why? Can't figure it out. The power of perseverance acknowledges the pain. It adjusts your perspective. And then one more thing. It accomplishes something greater than you could ever imagine. Let's play the what if game for a minute on Joseph's life. What if, what if he wasn't favored by his father? What if he never gave him a coat? What if he never had that dream? What if he was never sold into slavery? What if he was never sent to Egypt? What if he never worked for Potiphar? What if she never, his wife never tried to seduce him? What if he was never uh, falsely accused and wrongly imprisoned? What if he didn't have the work ethic in that prison to rise to leadership to interpret the dream? But what if the famine actually happened still? What if none of the bad happened to Joseph, but something in the overall environment happened and there was a famine? Well, a lot of people died. That's what would have happened. That's what Joseph said, right? What has happened to me is to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Joseph is talking about the fact that, hey, while all of this was super bad and it was awful, and yes, you tried to harm me, God was kind of moving and orchestrating some things behind the scenes, and now I'm here, and I was able to spare so many lives. And it's true. A lot of people would have died, including his family. But I think God in this passage is writing something even greater than this. Yeah, Joseph's family probably would have died from the famine. And that's significant because it was through his family that the lineage was going to go to bring us the Messiah, the promised one, the Son of God, Jesus. And Jesus wasn't going to come through a dead family. So God's writing this incredible story behind the scenes that maybe even Joseph doesn't understand. Is it possible that he could be writing a story behind the scenes in your life that you could never comprehend or understand, that he could be doing that in my life that I could never comprehend or understand? Listen, uh, we've all had pain. You know, when my mom died at a young age, I didn't understand it, I didn't want it, but I have seen how God has used that in my life for the saving of other people. At my mom's funeral when I spoke, three people gave their hearts to Christ. And now when people go through grief, it's not that I understand what they're going through, but I have more compassion. And it's allowed me to have a ministry that is way beyond what I have, would have ever had before. We didn't wake up one day as a family and say, man, I hope today we have a fire. No, we never wanted that. But we had to rebuild our house seven years ago because of one. And now we have this incredible ministry, like 0.1% of the population ever goes through that or something. But the fire department will call me and say, hey, we got a family and they need some encouragement. Would you meet with them? I say, absolutely. And you better believe we're going to talk about the gospel when we're there. Because that's what got us through what we were going through. Listen, I'm a leader of an organization, and sometimes I have to make decisions that have ripple effects, and people criticize it. And sometimes my kids have been at school and they've heard things from other kids about decisions that I've had to make. And that's not fair, and they didn't sign up for that. But could you only imagine how God will use that in their life if they will let him? And God will use that in my life if I will let him to write a story that's far greater than we could ever imagine. God will use whatever it is that you're going through. If you will truly say, I'm going to stand here, heart abandoned and fully surrendered. I give my life to you. That's what the author of Hebrews was kind of getting at. He said, don't throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what God has promised. He's like, don't throw away something so precious. And man, people do this all the time. When pain comes, when some circumstance isn't as they wanted it, when some evil steps into their life and somebody hurts them in a way that is definitely wrong, and everybody would agree with it, what do they do? They throw it all away. They walk away from faith. They're like, because you hurt me, I'm out. I'm not here to minimize what they did. I'm here to tell you there's more to the story, my friend. You don't have to throw it all away. 
You can go through what you're going through on your own, but you don't have to. No one gets an exemption, but we do get a companion. And his name is Jesus. And if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, you have the spirit of God living in you, and greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. What story could God be writing in your life? Yes, even from the mess and the hurt and the pain. How could he use it for your good and for his glory?